bum ba 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 bum ba 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 Take a little time to thrift this Christmas Spend all your money at the Goodwill store I'm not gonna be a slave to capitalism anymore Welcome to Thriftmas, day eight! So yesterday you guys watched Sam and I head out to 10 different thrift stores on Sydney's northern beaches. Now the northern beaches area of Sydney is fancy. It's just, just a little bit fancy. It's quite an affluent area. The housing there is pretty expensive. The average income there it's pretty high. So the thrift stores it's um, safe enough to say that the items were a little bit pricier than usual and also the things that I found, boy were they good. I literally saw a pair of Louboutin heels, like real Louboutin heels at the Balgala Salvos. I saw all sorts of beautiful things yesterday and the things that I ended up coming home with I'm so excited about. So I have a range of things here, things like homeware and home decor for my new house. I have Christmas presents, clothing, I've got all sorts of stuff and I'm very, very excited to show you. So with that, let's just jump straight into it. I'll start off with this here. This is a planter pot. This was $6. It has no uh, brand written on the bottom of it or anything, so I'm not really sure where it's from. It's very heavy, beautiful shade of pink. I don't know exactly which plant I want to put in it yet, but at the moment, I'll just sip this Syngonia in it. I've only just recently gotten into plants and lately, before Thriftmas, what I was doing was buying all of my pots from cheap places like Target and Kmart. But now that I've realized that just about every single thrift store you go to, you can find a pot for your plants. I'm never going to buy brand new pots ever again. And also, I really like the thought of having a whole bunch of different quirky, unique pots in my plant room. So really, really excited about this. You know, if you find anything like this that will house a nursing pot, even if it's not the right color for the color scheme you're going for, it's very, very easy to just spray paint it. Uh, check out Thriftmas day five. I spray painted a bunch of things that I bought from thrift stores and I used a matte pink spray paint and they turned out so well. So even if you find like a black plant a pot at a secondhand store and you want to make it pink, it's very, very easy to do so. I was just very lucky that I found this one already pink. Right off the bat, very happy with this. Do you see this? Everything in this bag brings me joy. What? Aside from this, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Sam added this $1 collection of Rick and Morty pins to my cart without me noticing. Aha, now here we go. So see this beautiful bowl. You may recognize this print here from some items that I got the other day being these two. But funnily enough, this bowl, despite having exactly the same flowers on it, they are identical flowers, they do have different things written on the bottom. This one says web and it actually says morning glory in very, very small text. This one is obviously written in Japanese kanji. So I'm only going to guess that they are the same brand because they are the same print and potentially these ones are newer and they had converted their logo to English where it says web. Or is there another company called web that is using the exact same print? Sorry, Ed, I'm sorry be talking into the bars. It's just very fun. This beautiful bowl has a gold rim on it and it looks like a big flower. It's got the same print as my other pieces so this is going to look beautiful all sitting together as a collection. The bowl was $12 which may be a little bit much I'm not sure but I love products that are made in Japan. I think that the quality of craftsmanship from Japanese made products is just above and beyond. So I don't mind paying $12 at all for that. And it's completing the set for me. So I feel really, really happy. <laughs> ah, yes. This beautiful vase was $10. You might recognize it because it's very similar to these other ones that I have. Now I got one of these on day one. I got one of them on day three, I think it was. And now I've found this one. So obviously this is a blue version, but I'm pretty sure it's the same vase by the same company because they're the exact same dimensions, the same height and everything. The clear one that I got on day one only cost $6, whereas the blue one cost 10. I don't mind that it cost more though because I, I had to have it to complete my collection. I currently have an avocado propagating in this guy and I will be using these others as well for more avocados. You know what's funny? I didn't buy the avocado dipping bowl and I really regret it because when I was editing the video and I was looking at what was written on it, oh it was so cute! I feel like such a 
hassle for not buying it. In its honor, I will be propagating many, many avocados. And this nice little blue vase can sit in the center of the two clear ones. It looks glorious. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna move my propagated avocado into this one. Very nice. This is now officially my third Ikea vase with little dots all over it. You might remember that I used the others and I spray painted them white. I've got one sitting here, one's up there with a tricolor something something growing in it and I can't remember the names of all of my plants but there's something propagating in that one up there. This one I haven't put anything in yet and this one is soon to join its long lost brethren and it's going to become white, blue, and pink. Luckily for me, I still have lots and lots and lots of spray paint left over from my thrift flipping episode, so this is going to be converted later today, probably. <gasps> the great success bear. Look at him holding his little hands up like he's just, he's saying, great success. I have seen a bunch of comments telling me that this little guy is a Berlin bear. Apparently he's old and antique -y and made in Berlin, Germany, and uh, someone told me he's worth $500. He just looks so chuffed with himself and I think that he can probably do handstands too. Now my friend Caitlin is born in February and she loves random knickknacks, so I got this for her as part of the Christmas hamper that I'm putting together for her. This has a teeny teeny tiny little lid too, I'm not really sure what its uh, original purpose was supposed to be, but maybe toothpicks or something, I'm not sure, but Caitlin's probably just going to sit this on her desk. She loves loves really old, quirky things, so I think she's going to adore this as part of her Christmas present. This is another thing that I got for Caitlin as part of her little gift hamper. This is $8, and it's carved out of solid stone. It's a little, I don't know, maybe trinket box, I suppose. It's just beautiful. The flower on the front is really, really shiny. Uh, it's kind of like pearlescent. I got this little thing for a dollar, and this you will recognize as matching this little collection over here. So I got the first three on one day and then I found this one somewhere else and now I found this one too. This one is the same as that one actually. Those two are identical. Every time I propagate various plants, I'm gonna be using these. Next up, I found another Horcrux. This iridescent dolphin was $10. It's beautiful, it's glorious. There's no information on it anywhere, so I'm not sure where it was made, how old it is or anything like that but it's beautiful and it brings me joy and it holds a piece of my soul and it's gonna go sit over here with its narwhal brethren. My Horcrux collection is growing. By the way, thank you everyone that uh, looked into my narwhal and found out that he's actually uh, supposed to have a glowing horn on his head. So at some point he was a little light and he had like a unicorn horn that was battery operated that lit up. So when he was donated, he obviously wasn't donated with the horn. So I'm gonna try and find one or I might try and make one out of wax, but I'm so happy that I found the dolphin to match him. So I've got sea creatures, a cloud, and a tiny little urn, I suppose. I also picked up some clothing from Goodwill. Piece number one is this Forever 21 turtleneck. This was $5. Sam picked this one out for me. He pulled it off the rack and he held it up. And I was like, yes, I have to have it, even though it's not really my typical pastel color scheme. I actually have a dark academia thrift store haul coming up. If you're into dark academia fashion, I have some incredible finds. The color palette is mostly like brown, burgundy, dark green, navy, lots of leather. And I feel like this will probably have a place in that haul. This is going to look amazing with a high-waisted flared pants. It's giving me really, really retro vibes, almost like um, that girl from Scooby-Doo. That one. Now, this was an interesting one. This is from the store Bardo, which was my like dream store when I was younger. When I was in school, I, if I ever got money for my birthday or anything, I wanted to go to Bardo to spend it because it was pricey and nice quality clothing. So this originally, the tag is on it here. This was $99. I got it for 15. This is absolutely beautiful. It has boning all the way through it. So it's holding its shape really, really well. I don't have a lot going on here but it's making me look like I do. So um, I've got to figure out how I'm gonna style this one. I almost feel like just tight black skinny jeans or something, or maybe like a black pencil skirt would be nice. It's very pin-up, I would say. Polka dots make me very, very happy. So I was overjoyed when I found this one. And also the fact that it's brand new with tags still on it, someone bought it and never wore it. And then I got it for $15 when they paid a hundred for it. So I feel like, 
great success. Speaking of great success, this dress, oh, this is beautiful. So this brand, this is Forever New. Now Forever New, it, I would say it's similar to Forever 21, but it's not really. It's probably much better quality than Forever 21. Forever 21 to me is very, very cheap. Like you go in there and you can get things for five, $10. Forever New is an Australian store and it's quite pricey. It's where a lot of girls go to get their prom dresses and things like that. Most items are over $60, I would say. So this is probably new. I reckon this would have been like at least a hundred bucks. The color is stunning. So I got this for $12. It's got a really nice sort of silky layer on the inside. So it is double layered. The way that it fits around my waist, the color of it, it's so precious and adorable and it makes me want to go to like a picnic or a tea party or something. So for $12, this brings me infinite joy. Alrighty, let's have a look at the next bag. Now, this, I couldn't believe when I spotted this. If you watched the episode where Sam and I had a thrift challenge, you might remember he got a coffee jar that had a ideal for use at home or on safari. <laughs> This is the same company, the exact same company, and this is a milk jug. So now we have two pieces from this collection. This was $12, which may be a little bit much. I don't remember how much the coffee jar was. Hang on, let me go get it. Okay, so Sam's coffee jar was $3. The milk jug was 12. So the coffee jar, this was from Vinnie's, and the milk jug was from the Salvos. So their pricing is a little bit different here. Could be because this came from Balgala, which is a very upper class area. This one came from uh, Castle Hill, which is also kind of a fancy-ish area, but not as fancy as Balgala. So look, I guess if you add it together, the 12 plus the 13, $15 for this beautiful, heavy, lovely ceramic coffee set. That's actually not too bad at all, so I'm really, really happy. Something super, super interesting I picked up from that Salvos was this. This was $9, but uh, on the bottom it says that it's handmade in Turkey. This is beautiful. It's got this really interesting texture all over it. It's been hand painted. $9, probably a little bit much for something so little, but this is so quirky and unique. It's such a special piece. I'm going to give this one to Tiasha as part of her Christmas present. Tiasha absolutely loves bright, vivid colors. She loves anything orange. She likes bright purples, bright blues. She's kind of like the opposite of me. She doesn't like pastel colors. She likes bold, bright, super bright colors. So when I saw this, I thought she's just going to love it. And she's a plant mum as well, and she loves propagating plants. So she'll probably use this to propagate her plants. I'm so excited to give her this. I think she's going to love it. So I got this dress from the Lifeline in Burwood. Not Burwood, what's that suburb called? Anyway, I got this dress from that Lifeline where it was a weigh and pay system. So uh, I'd never seen anything like that, but none of their clothing had any prices on it. You just grabbed whatever clothing that you wanted and they put it on the scale without the hanger. They put it on the scale and there was like this price chart and that's how they figured out how much it was. So this dress ended up coming to $7, I think it was, or $8. It's from Boohoo and when I saw it on the mannequin, I fell in love and I knew I had to have it. It's funny because I'm avoiding fast fashion for the month of December with Thriftmas, but it turns out you can't avoid fast fashion. It's everywhere you go. This boohoo dress, boohoo is just following me, I suppose. But funnily enough, if this didn't have a boohoo tag on it, I would have thought it was a really expensive brand. This is so nicely made. It has these gorgeous, long, flowy sleeves. It sits at a really, really nice height. I love it. I love the way that it ties up at the front. Yes, it does have a very, very steep sort of neckline, but I don't mind a little bit of cheekiness here and there. I'm an adult now. I can be a little bit cheeky if I want to be. I really like the color scheme. Uh, if I still had all of my hair as red hair, I think that this would look beautiful. Obviously my hair, let's not talk about it. You know, when I pull my hair back, you can see all my red regrowth. And I think that when I do eventually go back to my own red hair, this dress will look really nice with my natural complexion. My natural red color will probably complement the green very, very nicely. So, oh, I'm so happy with this one. I think it's beautiful. This is probably one of my favorite clothing items now and it's not even pastel. Who am I? Who have I become? <gasps> These are mind-blowingly beautiful. I. <sighs> I could not believe my eyes when I walked into the Lifeline and I saw these. These are solid glass. They're so heavy. They're all made of a single piece of glass, hand blown. They're really quirky and interesting. This one is like a very pastel blue, almost like a tornado pattern. 
This one looks like an iridescent blue dragon's egg. This one is without a doubt one of my Horcruxes. This one has dark blue stripes. And this one has, I don't even know what the pattern's meant to be, it kind of looks like an oil spill or something. There's no way for me to show you guys through the camera just how beautiful these are. Nothing can do these justice. These were $8 each, which I guess for the whole collection, a little bit over $40, was a little bit steep, but I don't care in the slightest because they are probably, I would go as far as to say the nicest Christmas decorations I've seen in my entire life. Yeah, thank you, Sam. <gasps> The pretty balls. Mm-hmm. I love the pretty balls. Look, the pretty ball matches my coffee cup. This one makes me think of the show that we never mentioned. The show that must not be named because it had such a terrible ending. If only the show could have been as good as this ball. These three are my favourite. The dragon egg, the iridescent one, and the very pastel blue one. But all five of them are stunning. You can see that they are like a solid piece of glass. Just one single bubble that's been blown and then this little sort of dollop on top that's got the hook. It's all glass and it's also very, very thick glass. Listen. You can hear them clunking together like they're so beautiful. <laughs> the only problem with these is that they are so delicate. The beautiful bowl will protect them. This one can go sit with the Horcruxes. I now have five iridescent Horcruxes. Oh, is this another one? Oh, oh. I... There's another. <laughs> I didn't realize there were more. Wow, this one's really cool. This is like a dark blue, purple, oil spill looking bauble. Also from the same collection. Oh, this is just, it's so beautiful. Oh. It's a Christmas miracle. This is another one for the little gift box that I'm putting together for Caitlin. How cute is this? It's just a miniature clock. I knew I had to get it for her because she, she just loves weird things. And this is so quirky and small and weird and it's made of stone. This is very, very heavy. This was, I think it was uh, $8, I'm pretty sure it was. It actually will work as soon as it has a battery added to it. So I know she's just gonna love this. I also got her all of these. I have no idea what these are supposed to be for. They're just teeny tiny little like ceramic vases. They were all a dollar each. So there's that one. There's this one with a little handle. This one that also has a handle. This one and this one. I don't know if I should give all of them to Caitlin or if I should give a couple of them to Tiasha as well. They both like quirky things. These are just the sort of random little things that you put on a shelf somewhere and they, they don't really do much, but they just kind of bring you joy every so often when you look at them. All right, I found this beautiful bowl. This has my favorite sort of smoky, swirly pattern on it. This will match the three others that I bought the other day. On the bottom of here, it says distributed by Albi Imports, made in Turkey. On the inside, it's got this sticker that says Anya, Turkish glassware. This bowl is so similar in size and shape to the pink one that I got the other day. I wonder if they could possibly be from the same collection. The pink one didn't have a sticker on it, only the blue one. So I don't know where the pink one's from, but they look so similar that I wouldn't be surprised if they were both from the same company. I paid $8 for this one at Lifeline and the other day I paid $10 for this pink one. They had only put this shirt out 10 minutes before we picked it up. This is a Christmas shirt. It's a summer snowman. He's wearing uh, sunglasses. He's got a hat and a flower in his hair. He's a uh, sitting on the beach. Got this one for Dan. Every year Dan wears a different quirky Christmas shirt for our Christmas lunch. So he's gonna love this. This stunning vase was $8. This is another one with a frilly rim it's for me to add to my collection. I'm really growing a very solid collection of these now, which makes me very, very happy. This one is uh, an opaque glass, whereas all of the others have been totally clear. This one's got this sort of milky pattern on it, and it's also like an amber color on the inside. If you're into propagating plants, any sort of vessel that has like a wider sort of rim on the top and then it comes down thinner, it's really good for sitting your avocado seeds or your mango seeds or whatever plants you're propagating. So I'm basically going to end up with like a little army of these vessels. I'm gonna end up with an army of them and I'm going to grow an army of avocados. I almost left the store without noticing these. These are beautiful. They were a dollar each. They are the same sort of smoky glass. They were basically on the floor. They were at the back of a cupboard 
and I almost overlooked them. I'm so happy that I didn't. All right, I wasn't sure if I should buy this or not, but it was a dollar. You guys might remember that I've been really interested in this kind of shell decor theme. I'd really like to nominate one of the shelves in my house to basically just have vintage looking shell decor with flowers and various things as well. I'm never gonna burn this, it's a candle. I, I won't burn it because if I burn it, well, what's the point of having a shell shaped candle? I can just burn a normal candle. I was even tempted to possibly spray paint it. What do you think? Should I just leave it as it is? What I'm really hoping to find, there's two things that I really, really want. I really want a shell vase. There were these like vintage vases that essentially from the side, they were like this, they sit like that, but there's a hole in the top and flowers stick up out of them. I would love to find a vase like that. And also I have seen on the internet sometimes when people go thrifting, they find shell lamps. So it's the same sort of thing. It kind of sits like this. But then there's a little thing here and then the lampshade sitting on the top. Those are like two things that I just, I want to find so badly. I will manifest it into existence. Ah, I don't know why I bought this. Don't ask. This is an enormous salt lamp thing. I'm guessing it's a lamp because in the bottom there is a hole. So you could probably put like a, an electric tea light or something on the inside. You wouldn't be able to put an actual tea light because it would run out of oxygen very quickly. There's no electronics here anywhere. So I'm assuming that you're just supposed to put something glowing on the inside of it. But I believe for people that are interested in these sort of things, it's meant to bring good energy or something like that. So I was wanting one of these for the plant room. I just felt like it would fit in well with the theme. This is so heavy. You could break a Tesla truck with one of these. Okay, did I pay too much for this, guys? This was $30. This is just incredibly beautiful. I would just love to learn how to hand blow glass. Like I would love to do a workshop or something because it just blows my mind that people can make things like this. So what put me off this was that it's orange and I thought, well, look, it's not my color scheme, but also it's such a beautiful, unique thing. I can overlook the fact that it's orange. I can style it in such a way that it'll blend in with my other things. I don't know if it's meant to be a vase, a lolly jar, a fruit bowl. I don't know if you're meant to just put nothing in it at all and just appreciate it for its beauty. I was considering possibly giving this away as a Christmas present. I think that something like this would be a wonderful present. It's in excellent condition and it's beautiful and unique and I'm sure I could think of someone to give it to but also I'm not sure if I should keep it for myself or if I should give it as a gift but you know if you find any beautiful pieces of glassware they do always make for excellent gifts so tell me what you guys think that I should do with this one down below should I give it away should I keep it if I keep it what should I put in it should I use it as a vase or what let me know speaking of vases the one noodle vase to rule them all I hated this and loved it equally I hated it because I was like, that is so weird. But I loved it because it's got this beautiful pattern sort of created inside the glass. It's not painted on, it's actually inside the glass. It goes from green to white and then it transitions into blue and then back to the white again. You can see the pattern on the bottom here. My deciding factor in buying this was that it was only $5 and it's so quirky and unique. This is gonna be great to just put a, I would say like single, big monstera leaf or like a birds of paradise leaf or something. I think that you could just put one or two in here and it's so heavy and solid that you could put a big heavy leaf in this and it's not going to knock it over. It's so unusual and I just I had to have it. Ah yes, speaking of noodle vases. So this is not the noodle vase, but it's still very, very similar. It doesn't have quite the right shape as the noodle vase, but it's still beautiful in its own way. This was $2. I got this because I just, I couldn't help myself. So the guy at Lifeline suckered me in. They were having a buy one, get one free on all clothing. So I grabbed this dress because it, it was very early 2000s to me and I couldn't resist the tiny little thin spaghetti straps. And uh, when he scanned it in, he was like, by the way, we have buy one, get one free on all clothing. So I walked over and I grabbed this Ed Hardy t-shirt. I was so into Ed Hardy when I was younger. I wanted it so bad, but it's quite an expensive brand. So uh, I was really, really happy that I found a pastel blue, massive Ed Hardy t-shirt. <laughs> this is the sort of shirt that I'm just going to lounge around the house in and basically wear to bed. I think that Dan might also wear this too. Can't really complain, I got it for free. Oh, and speaking of getting things for free, this was basically free. This was a dollar. This logo stamped on the inside says Dilax. It also has the same logo on this little ring here. I love shoulder bags. It's super early 2000s. And when I saw this for only a dollar, I was like, yes, yes, 
Yes. I reckon I can piece together a lot of outfits that this would look really cool with. If me in 2005 could see me now. Wow. Ah yes, a second one. So I found one of these on one side of the store and one on the other side of the store. Two dollars. And a third one. So I got this cushion for $5. I'm pretty sure this cushion was originally from Kmart because I have the same one, but my one is nowhere near as chunky and plush as this one is. I feel like whoever owned this before took the original cushion. <laughs> oh my God, it's so dusty. I just started hitting it and dust flew up in my face. Whoever bought this originally from Kmart must have taken the original cushion out from inside and put their own cushion in. Cause the one that I bought from Kmart was like half as thin as this, but basically I've been collecting cushions as part of my decorating my guest bedroom using only thrifted items video. God, I'm so excited to show you guys that. So excited. Basically this room that we're in right now, this is our guest bedroom. And at the moment it's just got some plants in it and a bed. That's the only thing in here. And soon enough, it's going to be full of only things that I bought from thrift stores. And uh, this collection of pink pillows that I'm slowly accumulating will also belong in here. In episode one, there were three pink cushions. This is added to that collection, as has this one as well. This one was $5 from Goodwill. This is a really very, very soft fabric. It's a really pale pink. It's almost white, but I like that all of these cushions that I'm collecting. They're all slightly different shades of pink and I'm basically going to cover this whole bed in like a hundred pink cushions that I bought from thrift stores and they're all going to be different and quirky and unique and I'm so excited. So very happy with these. Another one that I found was this vase. This was $12. This is once again from the same collection as these things down here except this one also has the English logo on the bottom whereas the first two I found had the Japanese logo. The first one I found was round and this one is obviously kind of like a big rectangle but it's the same print. Now a very kind Twitter user actually tagged me in a post which was I think from an Etsy seller that was selling a vase that had the same print on it and in that post from the Etsy seller, it does say the name of potentially the company that makes these. I adore it, it's beautiful. These are essentially, oh, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Every time I start saying something, I move on to saying something else. But these shelves, I had a lot of comments asking me where these shelves are from. I have 10 of them. They are from Kmart. They're all around my house and each one is going to be dedicated to a different theme. So I'm going to have like an iridescent one and I'm going to have a pink and blue one. I've got them for my plants. I'm going to have one basically dedicated to this collection with the purple and pink flowers. I'm also going to have one that's dedicated to noodle vases or like the swirly glass. The one that I'm most excited about is going to be my one day shell shelf. The shell, I suppose you could call it. I'm just slowly waiting to find more shell themed things that can go on it. This is what I'm probably the most excited about. I found these two in different stores. One was in the Vinnie's at Bell Gala and the other was in the Salvo's at Bell Gala. I speculate that maybe the one person owned both of them and donated them to two different stores possibly because what, what's the likelihood of all the thrift stores I've been to? I've been to so many and I've never come across this vase anywhere. And then I come across two of them five minutes apart from each other. Literally the two stores are like a five minute walk from each other and I found two of them. So I'm pretty certain that one person owned both of these and they donated one to Vinnie's and one to the Salvos. Now they are reunited and these are, I would say possibly my favorite items so far, potentially not, mm, I don't know. My mushroom lamps are my favorites for sure, but these are right up there. So the Salvos charged me $35 for this one and Vinny's charged me $25 for this one. This is just the most beautiful pattern and also the shape of it. The shape of them is just really, really pleasing too. And they're really heavy too. They're like little glass babies. I just want to hold them and look after them and love them forever. All right, next is a dress from a brand that I adore. Alana Hill is an Australian designer and she designs like vintage retro clothing. I was shocked that this dress was only $25. I went through a phase a couple of years ago where I was always stalking on eBay to find Alana Hill clothing. 
And I know that brand new this stuff is like 200 to 500, 600 dollars. And I used to get things for about 50 to 100 when I bought them on eBay. And when I saw this hanging up, I recognized it as an Alana Hill dress. And I thought, oh, that's gonna be 100 bucks probably. 25. I can so imagine the girl from the Queen's Gambit wearing this. Isn't this just stunning? Wow. Wow. Wow, I feel like Madeline. This is the perfect combination of like French schoolgirl, or at least what me, a humble Australian, would imagine a French schoolgirl uniform would look like. A librarian, Dita Von Teese. It feels very pin-up. The buttons are beautiful. They're like sparkly, they're gold and sparkly. It has this cable knit kind of detailing here, this beautiful collar on it. Oh, by the way, guys, do you like my necklace? It's handmade by Sam. Yes, that's right. My best friend Sam opened up an Etsy store where he makes his own handmade jewelry. I will put the link in the description. Head over and uh, buy a piece of his handmade jewelry. It's absolutely beautiful. But I'm so happy with this dress. This is right up there. You know, at the end of the month, like closer toward Christmas, I am going to do like a favorites video where I show you guys my absolute favorite items that I've thrifted this month. and. This is going to be one of them. I found these for $4 each. Now, please help me out here. Are these supposed to be glasses for drinking out of? Are they supposed to be little miniature vases? Are they supposed to be candy jars? I have literally no idea. These, once again, are that smoky glass and they match perfectly with this enormous bowl that I got in, uh, was this episode one? I don't remember. Look, they're almost exactly the same. I'll tell you something interesting. When I went to the checkout to pay for these and all of the other stuff that I bought at that store, the lady looked at me with this like crazed look on her face. She was like, you know, the one lady brought all of these things in together, all the things you're buying. So apparently one person brought these glasses, the pink vase here and the pink bowl here, and a couple of other things too. Apparently she brought all of them in together and they were all the things that I went out on my own and chose. The lady could not believe it. She's like, you literally, the, the things that you're buying are the things that the one lady dropped off and they were all scattered around the store in all different areas and I just so happened to pick all of them out. How weird is that? The cursed doll. Now we have two of them. We also got this timer, which I was very excited about when I saw it in the store. But then when we brought it home, we noticed something. See how we have three minutes, four minutes and five minutes. So the green is three minutes, orange is four, and the blue is five. When you turn it upside down, now it says three, four, five. Do you see the problem here? Now three minutes is the blue, four minutes is the orange, and five is the green. So on this side it says green is five minutes, but on this side it says green is three minutes. I don't know a lot, but I know that that's not right. <laughs> and last but not least, some things that a lot of people got excited about in the comments. These two incredible frames. So these are timber frames that are covered with like a velvety kind of fabric. They are just mind-blowingly glorious. I literally can't even begin to explain how obsessed I am. Have you ever seen something this beautiful? Five dollars each, guys. That's ten dollars. That's ten dollars to give me years and years and years of happiness. Every time I look at these, I'm going to feel over the moon. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it. That's everything. That is everything that I bought when I visited 10 thrift stores in one day. Tell me in the comments down below what you think your favourite item was. I think for me, out of everything I've just showed you, I think my favourite things are this dress and the incredible glass baubles. There is like nothing cooler to me than those glass baubles. They're and also these. So tell me in the comments below which of these items that you're most excited for. Tell me if you know anything about any of these items. Maybe you have them yourself. Maybe your family member has them. Maybe you've seen the same thing in a thrift store near you. Please feel free to take photos and tag me on Instagram. I love seeing what you guys find whenever you go thrift shopping. I've been receiving some of the most amazing comments and pictures from people on Instagram and Twitter. I'll tell you what, if there's one thing that Thriftmas has done for me this year, it has brought me closer to my audience. I've never felt more connected to you guys in the last couple of years that I've been on YouTube. It's the most interaction that I've had. It's the most excited that I've seen any of my viewers. People get so excited about these videos and it makes me so happy because for such a long time, I was really worried that people wouldn't want to watch this sort of content because it's not the sort of thing where I can put hyperlinks in the description box and you guys can buy the stuff yourself. You know, like, I've always felt like, oh, people only want to watch my videos because they want to go shopping and like they want to see links down below that they can buy. And when it comes to unique thrifted items, well, 
there's nowhere online that I can tell you guys to buy these things and I've always felt like, oh, no one's gonna want to see that and I, so I never posted anything like that and it just makes me so happy and so excited to know that people want to see this sort of thing because it brings me so much joy. I have so many more fun videos coming up for Thriftmas so please uh, like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on post notifications too. I hope you guys are coming back every day. I've been seeing a lot of comments from people saying that every morning they wake up and they watch the new video and they look forward to it every day and that makes me so happy. I can't thank you guys enough for all the support on this series. We've now reached the one week mark. I've officially, this is my eighth video now. I'm so happy and I'm so excited to keep on going and I feel like things are just going to keep getting better and better because as I'm accumulating these items, I'm going to slowly be able to start showing you like how I'm styling them and I can show you my gift ideas and who I'm giving things to and how I'm actually using them around my house. So with that, thank you guys once again so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah!